My brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, all of you know that I am a very big believer in the rapture, God's deliverance for his people. But I am coming to you with an urgent reminder. There is a very real possibility that the rapture may not take place before the end of this month. It may not even happen before the end of this year or before next Passover. Though I do believe there will be a rapture, last year I was told by the Lord that there would be a persecution for the church, for the Christian church. Right now, the rest of the world is going through this persecution. In fact, when the Lord told me about this last July, it is my understanding that ISIS was rising at that time. But now we are coming to the same time when that persecution is getting ready to come to America. Many of God's messengers have had dreams and visions about America being struck by nuclear war. I remember a video on YouTube from a young girl who said that she had a dream of American cities being on fire after a nuclear attack, and then an earthquake causing great destruction on the west coast. Afterwards, she said that there would be a tsunami coming up on the east coast, but before this, the rapture would come. Many others have had dreams and visions just like this. At this time, ISIS is warning us that they are prepared to blow up our schools our shopping malls, and even send nuclear warheads to blow up the White House. Our government seems to believe that this will take place on 9-11. That's this Thursday. I don't know about that. Why would anyone attack someone who's already expecting it? But at any moment, I do believe that ISIS will get the go-ahead to carry out their plans, and we need to be ready. I'm not saying that the Lord is not planning to deliver his children from such a terrible hour. All I am saying is that we need to continue in faith and in strength, even if the Lord doesn't come when we expect him. We need to remember that he is Lord, the creator of all things, and he does all things in perfect time. It is not for us to force his hand, and it is not for us to question his methods. We need to reassure ourselves and others that he loves us, and sometimes he allows things to happen for reasons that are not yet known to us. We need to be about the Father's business no matter what comes. We are getting ready to face a time of sifting. Remember, he said that all things that can be shaken will be shaken. Make sure you are firmly rooted in Jesus, our Christ. He told me that those who are strong in him will continue to be strong in him, but those who are not strong will fall away. Some of us may die in this final hour for our beliefs. Though those of us who manage to survive will see the rapture and no true deliverance. So please, if the Lord does not come to rapture you away at the end of the month on the Feast of Trumpets, do not fall away from him. Do not allow yourself to get angry and resentful. Do not allow yourself to believe that because of this, maybe there is no God. Stand strong in him no matter what. Believe his word and have faith in it. Let his word be your strength. There was another time that the Lord appeared to me in a dream, early in my salvation, and he told me that he would be with me whenever I face battles in life. All I have to do is call on him. Believe and have faith in this hour that he will be with you through whatever you face. He has not brought you this far to leave you. In his word it is also said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. In this scripture, we are told that we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, but we don't stop there. We continue forward with the Lord as he walks with us, and we come out the other side. Strength comes from tribulation. Tribulation has the ability to mold us and to transform us, making us a more perfect being. Now, I'm not talking about the tribulation. I'm talking about tribulation, hardship, trial, like a diamond that has been made from coal. The coal must go through a process of extreme pressure before it can become a diamond, and the more pressure it goes through, the more pure it becomes. Children of God, prepare to be tested, even to the death, and have no fear. If you lose your life for the Lord, you shall find everlasting life in heaven. My prayers are with you. May God bless you, and may he give you peace. Shalom.